Hello and welcome back. When we left off, we did the tutorial for some silly reason. <laughs> but yeah, here we go. Act 1, the signal. I am certainly not skipping cutscenes. I'll need to get down there. Immediately, of course. Good morning to you too, Professor. I'm sorry, Captain. It's good to see you too. But just look at it. What is it? And where are we? Uh, no idea. Our astro navigation system can't pinpoint a location. We're not on the map anymore. <laughs> We didn't drift out of the galaxy in 28 years, Professor. Since records show we arrived via slip space less than an hour ago? Our slip space drive is gone. However we got here, it wasn't us who initiated the trip. Something down there... ...must have opened the portal from this end and pulled us in. Signal to my location, Lieutenant. Let's hear what they have to say. Security measures would advance without us. But it is coming through on a UNSC frequency. This is good. When we left, the war wasn't going well. The signal means the UNSC is still fighting, or maybe we even won. What's the source of the transmission? We don't have the surface details yet, sir. Something down there is blocking our scans, and without Serena... But we do have a rough location. Should be simple enough to triangulate once we pick up the signal from the ground. Cutter to Jerome. Reporting, Prep Spartan Red Team and a small recon squad. Professor Anders will send you the coordinates. Find out who's sending that signal. Be on the ground within the hour. Travel light. Rather than yet. Recon only. 28 years, Professor. Let's see what kind of galaxy we woke up to. That was interesting, but I'm... 
Any update on the source of that signal? It wasn't easy, but I've narrowed it down to a small sector and our recon teams are investigating now. I've cleared up the scans a bit and it looks like there's a UNSC outpost or research station, but it's heavily damaged. It doesn't look good, but the Spartans will handle it. They always do. It would be a lot faster if you let me go down with them, Captain. Without Serena here, I need you on the ship, Professor. Besides, we don't know what's waiting for us down there. Jerome, get Red Team to the Professor's coordinates, ASAP. I want you to make first contact with whoever's sending that signal. Understood, sir. We'll find them. I am slightly curious as to how the ship even got it. I know they said, like, you know, some slipstream portal opened, but I mean, they had a pretty steady journey, you know, just to get back to UNSC space. Sierra to fire actual. I'm approaching the drop zone with Red Team. Stand by for drop, Red Team. Looking forward to shaking off some cobwebs, sir. <sighs> Feels good to have our feet back on real ground again, doesn't it, Alice? You saw this place in the drop down, Douglas. Nothing real about it. Alice is right. We don't know what's waiting for us down there. Keep your eyes out for trouble. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure these are spawn twos. Zero so nine two. So yeah, Master Chief isn't the last one. Moving out. On my way. Uh, what was I curious about? Eh, never mind. Oh yes. I do want to know why they've changed. Set up charges to clear a path for you when you're ready. Jeez. They were defending against, but there's some heavy duty barricades here. What the how many charges? Ready for duty. Light up those charges, Alice. <laughs> Not exactly a hard target, sir. Enemy building neutralized. I'm there, sir. Ooh. Jerome, these aren't military defenses. No, these were made in a hurry. They must have been desperate. Why wouldn't they have defenses? They must have expected to be a target for the Covenant. Why do you assume that? Uh... Make my way. Hold on. Jump up ahead. Moving to position. God, oh, miss this. On the move. Getting going. These are research buildings. No defenses. The people here weren't soldiers. They were scientists. Besides, this isn't even a UNSC world. As long as they're like foreigners, you jerks. I'm there. Ooh, Phoenix there. More plasma burns. They didn't leave much standing. Whoever it was, it looks like they're long gone. Mark Jerome here. We'll know more when we get to the source of that signal. Suit it up. That's our way across. Let's get that bridge activated. What I just did. Before I got far, I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. On my way. All right. Doesn't look like it. Spark, no, that's good. On the way. Oh, we have definitely got wounded or something. On the move. Moving out. Moving to position. It's one of our recon teams, sir. We found them like this when we arrived. Didn't see what hit him. Looks like we may see some action after all. I hope I got that Make Phoenix tag. To be fair, actually, they don't really seem hidden this on, on this way. one. Out. But I don't want to miss any, obviously. 
Our recon team scouted out this portal that will take you down to that signal. I've ordered the rest of our forces to stay back and protect your exit while you investigate. Yes, sir. Spartan, moving out. Not nothing there. On point. Oh, it's a portal. Thought it was now there. <laughs> On the way. Moving to position. Professor, we found some more portals. There's something strange about them. Odd. They look like they've been modified. And those machines attached to them aren't new NSC tech. Keep an eye out for any more of them. I'm there. On the move. Moving to position. I'm there. Oh, what's this? Henry huh. Lamb Research Outpost. Spirit of Fire, we're outside. Base looks clear from out here. Let's see who's been calling. I wonder when this was built. I mean, if this is the Ark, then it has to be, you know, after Halo 3. Hello. Spartans, thank God. We have to get out of here. Identify. Isabel, UNSC Logistics, Ark Research Outpost. Isabel, where are the survivors? What's the strength of the Covenant force here? Covenant? No, why would... Listen, you're in incredible danger. And why did you bring us here? What was that? It's him. You're coming with us. This is on you, Isabel. You chose to have a distress beacon. Ooh. Gosh, he broke his neck. Did he break his neck or his arm? His arm. His arm. He broke his arm. Ooh. I know this is his bad guy, but I'm I'm so fanboying over him right now. I mean, he just killed three Spartans who, you know, took on a whole force of Honor Guard elites. And he crushed a modular helmet. Oh, they're alive. Why is he letting him go? down there, Mr. Villain, but you could have done that yourself. Come on, come on. Here we have a it's like Planet of the Apes. Oh, 
Oh, no leak. Wrong side brutes. Very interesting. Yeah, that brute was certainly in charge. Hang on. Run, fire, run. Okay, I'm taking a lot of damage. I'll take the big one. Watch out! Over there! They're using the Ark's portals. Portals? Why is it always portals? What do you mean, why is it always portals? How often have you seen portals? Not many. The controls to the bridge. Alice, now! On it! Make it quick! They're closing in! Oh, she's gone. She's gone. Don't you believe it, Isabel? We're on board, pilot. Let's go. We have a medical team standing by for Douglas, Jerome. I want a full report from you and that AI as soon as you get back to the Spirit of Fire. Wait a minute, who drove? The guy who was like barely conscious? Well, that's mission one done. So thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed. Wait, what? And we're back here. We just... What the heck? Alright, I'm going to end this episode around here. Hopefully Act 1 does not include the hopefully they don't mean like you know there's 10 acts or something they mean more like three acts and there's different chapters right odd let's have a quick look at the new stuff we've got Those people deserve their fate, it seems like. It's just a mess around technology that, you know, they really shouldn't. That's why I really dislike the librarian. I don't know why she would give the keys to all this foreign attack to humanity of all people. I mean, granted, none of the race have done well, but I mean, come on, look at, look at what humanity does in the Halo universe. They do a lot of bad stuff. They ignited that whole civil war between the, di between the different elite factions, and they even helped, you know, the leader of those remnant elite fleets. Not the remnant covenant fleets. I mean, seriously, if they had just, like, you know, been civil with, like, the Arbiter and stuff like that, none of this would have happened. Probably wouldn't also have the issue of, like, Cortana running amok. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode. I hope you've enjoyed. Please like, favorite, or subscribe if you have, and have a good day.